just great to be with you. I want to introduce you to a friend of mine. This is Hermie. Everyone say, hi, Hermie. Hi, Hermie. Say, good morning. Uh, Hermie is from uh, City Team. It's another just uh, ministry that's doing amazing stuff um, here in the area. And we just want to highlight them and love them, pray for them, bless them uh, this season. And so, uh, Hermie, can you start and tell us what is City Team and like what's your role with it? Yeah, I'd be happy to. Good morning. Thank you for having me. Um, City Team is a local Christian nonprofit organization, and uh, we've been around for quite a long time, since the 50s. And um, our mission statement is to show and share the unconditional and redemptive love of Christ by caring for immediate needs and enabling lasting solutions. Our immediate needs programs, we provide free food and shelter and clothing and these uh, and many other essential services. That provides opportunities then to create on-ramps to lasting solutions. And our lasting solutions is programs such as our free one-year uh, residential program with individualized case management, career planning, and economic empowerment. My role, I've been with City Team for 22 years, and I'm the director of City Team in the neighborhood. And uh, we make it really easy for local churches to love on their low-income neighbors. And uh, we help them to provide free food and clothing and household items and hygiene products. And uh, we partner with local food bank like Second Harvest of Silicon Valley. And they are the best at gathering just staggering amounts of food. Mm. And, um, and then we solve the problem of taking it the last few miles. So they deliver at our warehouse. Then we take it to 44 different locations. And this is what I love most. At 35 of those 44 locations... It is a local church like Silicon Valley of Alliance Church here in Milpitas. They are the ones serving their, their neighbors. And that creates all kinds of follow-up opportunities. So that's what we do. Yeah. It's really cool. I've, I've met people who um, testify that, that, hey, before I met City Team, I was addicted to drugs. I was homeless. I had alienated all the relationships in my life. Somehow they, they got connected with the city team, did this 12-month residential program, and have had a total turnaround in their lives and been, been free of drugs and having productive lives and with God working in their lives. Just really just grateful. Could you tell us one story of, of some way you've seen God work in your ministry? Yeah, I'd be happy to. Can you go to the second slide? I want to share the story of Jeremy Rios. Jeremy joined, um, actually, our program. He came to our Renew program. Uh, last year in August, and drug addiction just took over his life for seven years. Three of those seven, he ended up homeless. And uh, after his father passed away of drug, drug addiction, a drug overdose, he hit rock bottom and came into our program. His wife and two kids totally wrote him off. And uh, through our City Team Renew program, he learned, he surrendered his life to Christ. He learned how to overcome addiction. Um, he also was assigned a spiritual mentor. And actually, there's an opportunity. You guys can also become spiritual mentors to men and women in our programs. And it's really through that, seeing a godly role model and friend, um, he overcome addiction. And he is now serving, you know, at our Hope on Wheels program. At first started as an apprentice. And then he's now actually, uh, we hired him full time. And uh, he takes hot meals to homeless encampments. Pastor Troy, where are you at? Uh, he's been a regular. He's also brought uh, the youth here to serve with him. And I just love watching Jeremy serve folks. He looks people in the eye and say, man, I was there not too long ago. And, you know, we can help you overcome addiction, overcome homelessness, just like I have. And people resonate. He's already, uh, this ministry already have several people come into our programs and help over, well over 100 people get into perm, uh, shelter and, uh, and, and housing. So I, was, I asked Jeremy, hey, Jeremy, what, what is it about Christmas that you look forward to? And he says, this is going to be the first one in eight years. He's going to be fully present with his family. Mm. And he told me two months ago, he led his wife, two kids, and cousin all to receive Christ as their Lord and Savior. Mm. Jeremy also leads. Yeah, <laughs> praise God. Jeremy also leads an AA group where he lives. And he, say, he told me, he said, man, I, I shared, recently I shared with my group, he said, man, when I was in my addiction, I could not imagine my life without drugs. But now, my walk with the Lord, my ministry to the homeless, I cannot imagine ever going back. Because he says, man, I'm so blessed and so grateful, I'm never going back. So that's, that's one story, and there's many like that. Wow. 
I know we're, we're working uh, on setting up a youth service trip um, uh, this coming uh, winter to, to work with City Team in the weekend. Uh, I've taken the whole church staff to go and have a tour of the facility so we can kind of be thinking, but we're just really looking for ways to serve you. But we would love to know, how do people get involved? What are ways people get involved to serve with City Team? We have so many opportunities. So I would say start going to our website, and it's at cityteam.org. Um, Yes, and then you're going to scroll down and there's get help and give help. You can point people to the get help. All the, all the services are there. But give help, when you click on that, click on uh, San Jose, and then you'll take you to all of the opportunities. So there's volunteer opportunities. There's all kinds. And then um, if you go to the, um, there's the uh, Christmas, uh, uh, there's a corporate and church partnerships. There's a whole booklet. It'll tell you special opportunities where you can become a tutor, a spiritual mentor, many others. There's also ongoing service opportunities, and you'll get some more information. There's a QR code. You can just click the link and, and just get involved. Um, we need a lot of help. So I, just, I know there's many of you that have really served and been uh, partnering with City Team for many, many years. Thank you so much. And, uh, but if you're interested, I'll be out in the chapel later on. So please come and see me, and uh, we'll... Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll share some more information and point you some more opportunities. Awesome. We do, as a church, we want to give City Team a Christmas present today. So we're going to be sending you a check for $2,000. Wow. Thank and, you so uh, much. Also Thank inviting, you so much. If anybody wants to add to that, you can do that uh, on the church giving page. You can uh, add something to the, uh, to the gift. And we'll be sending that your way. I did just not know to, that. Thank you. Just to get started. Uh, Merry Christmas. Thank you so much. Um, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Can you, uh, we'd love to take a minute now to just uh, pray for uh, you and City Team. How can we pray? Wow, yeah, please. There's a lot of follow-up happening. We've got all these Christmas events, Thanksgiving and Christmas. Many people have put their name down. They were, they're interested in a local Bible study. Just pray that they would follow through on that. Um, and the second thing is we have Grace Village, which is um, we provide housing and wraparound services for homeless women and children. And there are several units that kind of stuck after they demoed. We need folks that have some handyman experience that would be willing to help um, with these eight to, eight to ten units. So please pray that we can get some more help on that because we have a waiting list and we'd love to get those commissioned. Yeah. All right. Okay. Would you join me in, in praying? Lord, we just thank you for Hermie. We thank you for City Team and all the staff and all the ways you've worked uh, through them, all the people who've gotten help, who've uh, gotten off the street, who've seen their lives restored. Uh, we just pray uh, right now specifically for this request of Race Village Remodeling. We just pray that um, these homes would be restored so the, these women and children uh, can have us just a safe place to live and uh, begin to just rebuild uh, their lives. And we just pray for you to continue to work in more and more stories like what we heard today. Um, thank you, God. Empower them and encourage them this Christmas in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Merry Christmas. Amen. Thank you all. Thank you. I'll take you.